Men's crew is getting ready for the crescendo of its already very successful campaign. They have the national championships in the race against Harvard left, and they prepare here at their facility at Gales Ferry. The athletes are living here. You just walk around these buildings. You can't escape your, your legacy. You can't escape the, you know, the history. In fact, you become immersed in it. History dating back to the 1800s, even before former Yale rower Payne Whitney built the home in 1905. This is where Yale oarsmen came to prepare for big races, a four building Yale owned compound for the athletes, coaches and equipment. It becomes a very, very important point, actually, practically speaking, to be able to live here, eat here, train here and have all the all the pieces within, you know, a three minute walk of your bed. The facility really, really provides a place where the team can come together and we can build those bonds that mean more than just simply simply the miles that you spend chugging up and down the river together. With all their schoolwork behind them, the athletes can focus on nothing but rowing. They spend a few weeks here before heading out to California for the national championships. It's really the only time in the season uh, where the athletes can uh, put all their attention to the development of speed. Developing speed is exactly what Yale has done in its ascent to an elite program. Yale goes through first. How about these accomplishments? Yale's heavyweight eight has now won three consecutive Eastern Sprint Championships, the first time that's ever happened three in a row. The Bulldogs also captured the Road Cup, given to the team with the best overall performance at the sprints. The first time Yale's done that since 1979. Yale, it's looking to be Yale in these final few strokes. What a finish from these crews. I'm saying Yale over Harvard. And all the winning coincides with the arrival of coach Steve Gladstone. So you're moving in one piece. From the waist to the shoulders, you move in one piece to the bow. When I was a freshman, I raced the JV event at IRA, and I remember we raced a repechage against Harvard and Columbia, and were easily picked to finish last. No one expected us to do very well, because that's what Yale did. But we won that repechage. Didn't do so well in the finals, but I, I, that moment sticks out to me as no one would pick us to finish last in a repechage today. Nope, in fact, Yale is now one of the favorites to win the national championship. For the seniors on this team, a national championship would complete their mission. A mission not long ago, many thought was out of the question. You know, it's, you, know you work, you plan, you make you know, significant uh, emotional and time commitments. Uh, and uh, it's great to see it, see them win the race. You know, you show up at Yale like four years ago, 2013 for me, um, and you've, you notice that you know a lot of the um, leadership on the team, the older guys, you know, have never seen success. They are like all, you know, like very used to their structures. And then this new coach comes around and like kind of brings a new system in. And there's just a lot of trust you have to bring and just say, okay, like let's roll with this. I wanted to be part of something exciting. I wanted to be part of something that no one had done before. And people said that it couldn't be done with Yale, and and that we that what we have done was impossible. Um, obviously, we're, we're definitely not finished here. Um, Steve's not finished here. It's good to have had the success that we have had, winning three sprints, winning head of the Charles, winning Henley, but we came here to try and win a national championship, and we haven't managed that yet. So, in my eyes, we haven't done anything yet. After the national championships, the athletes will return to this unique facility at Gales Ferry to prepare for their final race, the oldest intercollegiate sporting event in the country, the race against Harvard, raced every year right on this, the Thames River. Maybe after that, the athletes can reflect on exactly what they've accomplished.